Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be trying a U-part wig. I have never tried one of these before. I just recently came to the knowledge of them. So I purchased one off of Amazon. There's a variety of like price ranges for U-part wigs. So it's kind of hard for me to determine what is a good one versus a bad one. So I just chose one that was reasonably priced. I will leave the link to this one in the description down below in case you guys wanna try it. This brand is the same brand I got tape in extensions from on Amazon and I really liked the tapins. I'm hopeful that this U-part wig is going to be good quality. I haven't even opened it yet. So here is what it looks like. It comes in a plastic bag. Like I said, I made sure to get human hair because I wanna be able to curl it and style it or if I want to dye it, I'm able to dye it now. U-part wigs are like very, very handy, especially for me. Like I, I dye my hair all the time. So I feel like this is going to be amazing. And oh my gosh, this feels really good. This is like a lot thicker than I thought it would be. I watched one YouTube video so I would know how to put this in because again, I've never had one so I didn't even know how to install it. But look at this wig. It's like very, very thick and it's super long. I didn't realize I got one that was this long, but it's very, very thick and very long. Obviously you can see it is like crimped from the packaging and shipping. But let me tell you a little bit about U-part wigs and like how they work. So basically it is like it says a U-part wig. So we're gonna cut this little strap off right here and then you will just be left with this U-part here. You just part out a little section of your hair. So like up here, you'll just part out a little U section right here, clip this out of the way, and then put all the rest of the hair back into like a little bun. And then you just clip the wig on up here. You can leave out some of these side pieces just to make it look more realistic. I'm gonna do that today. I made sure to get a wig that matched my hair color. So as you can see, it is a perfect match. The reason why I'm so excited that I discovered these is because you guys know I changed my hair all the time. So this will come in handy because if I ever do want like a drastic change for my hair, I really only would have to dye this top section of my hair to match the wig. And then I can just tie all of this out of the way. And then I can have a new hair color and most of the color would be in the wig and I would only have color in this top section, which would be easier for removal and it would be less damaging to my hair if I only dyed like this little top area here. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but the option is there and I feel like I just have more flexibility with color and stuff. So here's the wig. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it because it is so kinky and wavy right now. Okay, wig is now straightened, looking really good. So the first step is to cut off this band right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. This is just to keep the wig like intact during shipping. So let me cut this little band off here and then I will show you a little more up close. Okay, so here is what the wig looks like. It kind of looks like uh, an extension of some sort. So here's what it looks like. It's basically rounded. It has four clips here at the top and then at the bottom down here, it has one clip and it also has like an adjustable band here. So that way, if you have a larger head or a smaller head, you can just adjust it to whatever size you have. So here's the wig. It's honestly very thick and very long. Like this wig is really good quality. I'm actually surprised. And I haven't even washed this wig yet. Normally when you wash human hair, it like doubles in thickness. So I'm sure once I wash this, it's gonna get even thicker. So let's go ahead and try to clip this in. I'm gonna take this section right here. We're gonna have to play around with this because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have not done this before. So I'm just gonna take this section right here, I guess, and going to tie it out of the way. So basically what you do is you kind of just clip it in exactly like an extension. So I'm just gonna start on the sides here. I'm gonna clip one piece in here. I'm gonna clip all the way around the back of my head. I'm trying to make sure it's lying flat on my head too. Okay, wow, that feels really secure actually. Okay, I forgot to tie back my hair, so I have to unclip this real quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave out these pieces around my hairline here. I don't want too much, just enough to make it look more natural. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna take all of the rest of my hair and tie it back here because the wig is going to cover that on top. If I was gonna wear this for a long time, I would probably braid each side back. I'm surprised at how good these clips are too. They feel 
very, very secure. Okay, it's a little bit harder to clip in now that I have like a bun in the back of my head. It would definitely be easier to braid your hair versus just sticking it in a bun. I feel like this would be a great option for someone who has thinner hair. Let me clip in the bottom piece. So I'm just gonna drag this bottom piece up over my bun. Wow, <laughs> this looks so good. All right, let's release this top piece. I feel like my top piece is gonna be more noticeable because I just have so many layers since I just gave myself a haircut. But if you don't have like a wolf cut or any choppy layers, I feel like this would work a lot better. Even with like my choppy layers, look how good it blends in. Like, look at that. The color match is insane. Wow. This is awesome. I'm so glad I decided to give this a try. You guys, this looks so good. I definitely need to wash this because it will thicken up quite a bit, but let me show you. This is like very, very long. I don't know why I got such a long one. I'm guessing the price probably wasn't that different, short versus long, so I probably just went with a long one. But it looks very good on my hair and I have like very, very choppy layers up here. So if I wear this like out in public, I will definitely style it in a way that's not straight. So that way the layers aren't as noticeable. But I mean, even with like all these layers and stuff, it blends in pretty well. If I wear this, I will probably like braid these pieces back like this just to get them out of the way. So that way it's like mostly the wig showing through. Whenever I wear my clip-in extensions, that's normally how I wear my hair. I just braid these two pieces back and then they meet in the back of my head just because it gets rid of like any layers or any disconnect between like the extensions or the wig and my hair. That way all you're seeing is like the really, really long hair and there's not any like choppiness. Or you could just like take a clip and clip that back. Wow, this is like so much better than I imagined. The video I saw like wasn't that great. Also, you can get these in synthetic. So if you have like a natural hair color that you wear all the time and you don't change your hair all the time, you can get a natural color that's synthetic and they're so much cheaper if you get synthetic hair and they're also pre-styled. And a lot of synthetic hair is heat resistant so you can style it in a different way if you want to. This would also blend a lot better if my hair was curled. But also keeping this hair out around the face definitely helps. The less hair you leave out, the more realistic it is. So I just have like a few little layers left out and it blends in so much better now that I like pushed most of this back. The longer your hair is on top, or even like, even if it's not super long, but it's a little bit thinner. Right now my hair is very thick and choppy because it's so healthy. So those lines of demarcation are way more noticeable. But if you have like thinner hair or longer hair, it's going to blend in to these U-part wigs so much better. Like, I honestly am shocked at how good this looks and how good it feels. Like it's so much more comfortable than wearing a bunch of extensions or wearing a wig. Your head is still able to like breathe. It doesn't get as sweaty, it doesn't get as itchy. It's just so much more comfortable. The only issue I'm noticing right now is the bun in the back of my head. So right now I just put my hair in a bun. So it's like bulging in the back of my head. I'm sure it's not that noticeable from like the back of my head but it, I can feel like a bulge right here. So definitely if I'm gonna wear this, I need to braid my hair flat to my head so that way it's a little bit more seamless. And I definitely need to wash it because the ends are a little bit thinner than I would like them to be. So I need to like really wash out all the chemicals they use to straighten this, but look how good this looks. I'm like, dang, I'm glad I tried this. Again, I will leave a link to this in the description down below in case you guys wanna try it. So from what I've like, red there are two types of like wigs like this there's a v part and there's a u part so the v part is basically what it says it's a v mine goes around into a complete circle and then there's ones that go to a v so there's like a point right here and then they go up from what i've read and what i've seen in other people's videos the u part wig is a lot easier to clip into the hair the v part wig kind of causes issues because there's a point right here and it doesn't really go around your head obviously your head is round so having a u shape kind of molds to your head nicer. If you have a V-shape, your head isn't V-shaped. So you have like a point right here and then it goes up. It's a little bit harder to clip in. It's a little bit harder to hide. I feel like you have to wear it a little bit higher up on your head because it's not as like long and wide as the U part is. I feel like this wig is like a perfect distance all the way around here. If you wear clip-in extensions a lot, I would recommend getting this instead. I just feel like it's a better option. 
It's way cheaper than getting clip-in extensions because you have so much hair that you're buying with clip-in extensions. This is way more affordable. And I got a lot of length for how much it was. This is way easier to style. Like you literally clip in one part and then you're done. You can style it however you want to. Like I said, it's way more comfortable than clip-in extensions. It's way more comfortable than wigs. And also the hairline, like leaving out your hair. That's one thing with wigs that I don't like. It's so hard to get a natural looking hairline unless you like lay down baby hairs, which I don't naturally have baby hairs, so I'm not going to cut a wig to have baby hairs. But with this, because this is all my natural hairline, it's so much more believable and so much more realistic. And there are different degrees of like thickness. So you can get more grams or less grams depending on the thickness of your hair. And these Upart wigs range so much in prices. You can find some for very affordable and they go up to very, very expensive just depending on what you're looking for. Mine is not like lace, it has wefts throughout it, but I'm sure you can like buy all lace U-part wigs. Let me show you the inside of the cap a little bit more so you guys can see what it looks like. So here you can see there's like a mesh and then there's wefts on the other side of the mesh. So if I show you this back side here and I part this down the middle and separate it, you can see all of those lines in there. It is not like a full lace. There is wefts of hair sewn, so there's like little lines. But the hair is so thick up here that you can't see the lines throughout. I've had some wigs where the hair is just so thin, you can see all of like the tracks in the wig, and that is not cute, because you can see in the back of your head too. I got really lucky with the first time ever buying a U-part wig, because the thickness of this is pretty good. Again, I bought tape and extensions from this company before, and everything I bought from them is really good quality, and it's also affordable. So I'll leave a link to the wig, the extensions I use, maybe just their whole entire Amazon shop in the description down below, so that way you guys can browse on your own. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been wanting to try a U-part wig for quite a while, so I'm excited I finally was able to try it. The color possibilities for my hair is endless, and I could change it so much more now. Like It's exciting to think about how many different hair colors I can have with only having to dye like a small portion of my head. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.